Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. In today's video we are checking out the all new, brand new, hot off the press Zebroy Prometheus FPV frame. This frame is like no other frame you've ever seen. This frame is full titanium. That means the entire frame is made out of metal. It is going to be strong, it is going to be lightweight, and you don't have to worry about breaking an arm every time you crash. This is super exciting and I can't wait to show this to you guys. So let's go! Oh, oh. All right, pilots, here we are. We have got the brand new Zebroy Prometheus FPV frame. This frame is $170, and I'm excited to show it to you guys because we've been flying FPV for quite some time now, and we've always built and flown carbon fiber frames. Now, there's, there's a couple trade-offs. There's a couple things you might worry about. You might worry, well, is it going to be too heavy? I don't know. That's a really good question. I've got the scale on board, and we're going to find out. We're going to find out if this is too heavy. The next thing you might worry about is conductivity. So if I mount an FPV uh, flight controller and something happens to touch something, am I going to fry all my gear? I mean, titanium is a metal, and it is conductive. Now, carbon fiber, which is not really a metal, can also be conductive, so you've got to worry about that either way. So I don't know. Is that really a trade-off? I'm not really sure, but I I am excited to show this to you guys and we're going to review it we're going to check it out and then we'll decide how we feel about it from there so let's go ahead and crack this puppy open and let's see what we got so it comes in a regular box with uh, some packaging and one thing to know which I've already mentioned is this frame is hundred and seventy dollars at that kind of price point it better be good but at 170 bucks, is that better than buying a $100 frame and every time you crash too hard, you break apart, you break an arm, you break a bottom plate, top plate? I mean, come on, let's see, let's find out. This might be the way to go. We might actually watch FPV change for good. This might be the start of something new. And I'm excited to find out. Oh, what is this? Look at this. Look inside of here. So right off the bat, we have like a welcome card, it looks like. And it just says, hi, it's Zebroy Drone Teams here. We'd like to thank you for buying our product. And it's got some other stuff, maybe some contact and things like that. Now, right on top, we've got a cool sticker pack. Check that out. Let me get you in here a little bit closer. Look at this here. I am titanium. Super awesome. This is an FPV freestyle frame. Now, that doesn't mean you can't race with it because with a titanium frame, I mean, if it's, it might be too heavy, but if it's not too heavy, that is going to be sick because you'll be able to crash all you want and fly as hard as you possibly can and not have to worry about breaking anything. So you've also got a cool sticker letting you know what it looks like and then right here just a uh, brand sticker and then you've got the periodic table for titanium sticker. That is cool because that is what this is made out of and are you ready for the reveal? Here it is. Oh, oh, oh sh Everybody's freaking out and that is awesome. Here we go. Wow, look at this. Oh my God. Wow. All right, how do I get it out of the box? All right, I guess we'll, okay, we're zip tied in. Let me get something to cut it. All right, so that's good news. She's zip tied, she's strong. You don't have to worry about it uh, flying all over the place. It might already be assembled. I was gonna go over on how to assemble this. It was gonna kind of be a how-to video, but I don't think you need that. Uh, it looks like it's already put together. All right, so we've got a zip tie on each arm. And this is what's called a Compress X is the style. So certain frames have different styles. You know, you've got your Stretch X and all, oh, there's a ton of them. And we've got definitely got some nuts and bolts and components. All right, where are we at here? Boom. All right. Oh, God, look at that. It feels like and looks like a hundred and seventy dollars. Oh my god. I know it's made out of titanium, but I just I want to be careful with it. I don't want to scratch it up. Oh my goodness. Wow. Woo! All right. 
We don't have to build it. It's already built. Uh, we've got some spare components. I'm not sure yet if that's part of building or if that's maybe it's not fully ready. I'm not sure yet, but let's get everything out of the box. Uh, we've got some more screws and nuts and bolts and whatever you've got. Now, inside the box, you're going to notice there's still one more piece back here. Let me grab that. Oh, two more pieces. Okay. One looks to be titanium. Maybe not. Maybe it's just painted carbon fiber. And then we have another one which is actual carbon fiber. So we do have a little bit of carbon fiber on here still. We've got one uh, uh, connector here and one here connecting front and back arms together. Kind of cool. It gives it that wing look, like that sugar glider. Woo! All right. Enough playing around. Now, going through the box, that is everything that it comes with. All right. So what we've got is we've got the side arm style. So notice whenever a drone frame has an arm, usually it's flat like this. These arms are actually turned like this, and that's going to cause for a lot less wind drag. When you are flying through the air, you are much, much more aerodynamic than if your arms were flat and you were flying like that, causing all that drag. Now, right on top, we've got a couple rubber stoppity grippity things, and that's going to be to mount your uh, action camera. Let me get one. All right, here we go. I've got a Hero 8 right here, and that is going to go right there. Can you see that? So you'll go like that, and then right through the front of this thing, you can go ahead and stick a, a battery strap of any sort you'd like. Uh, there is specific, specially designed GoPro straps. That'll be perfect. You'll send that through there. I have not looked yet, but I'm sure if there's not, there's going to be very soon a 3D printed mount that'll work with this. It might even turn into my go-to daily driver frame. I know it's a lot of money, but if I don't have to worry about replacing arms, they might not even sell replacement arms because you may never need one. It's titanium. Oh, where has this been my whole life? All right. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to remove this battery strap. By the way, this is a beautiful battery strap. I, I want to say that it's leather. Wow, look at that. Can you see that? Let me get you up close on that guy. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Now, I don't know. You know how things on camera just don't look as good as they do in person. But let me get you up close so you can really check this thing out. So there's the front of your drone. You've got your cage design. And for all of my DJI... FPV pilots, huh? Just like me. I know your first thought is, and your worry is this, can this hold an air unit? And guess what? Yes, it can. This is also an, uh, an HD frame. If you want to fly analog, more power to you. But if you don't, you don't have to worry about it. Let's go over what's titanium, what's carbon fiber on the frame. You've got some arm supports on each side. There's one here, there's one here, and our entire top plate right here is carbon fiber, and then it's covered with a uh, rubber grip for your battery. It is a top mount battery style. And look at the way these bolts are holding everything together. Oh my goodness. And then once you mount your motor, you've got your sides hanging off here. See that? If I was to crash, now I want to keep in mind and I want to point out that uh, this sidewall for the arm right here, if you were to mount a motor, you probably are going to be limited, not much, but you're going to be limited. You won't be able to go super, super large. Let's grab one. All right, so this is a Zing 2207 motor. And if I hold this over right here, as you can see, I mean, we've got space and we've got protection on this whole side. But we're not going to have that much. If you want to mount a 2507 or bigger, maybe a 28 or whatever, you might have a hard time. I, I doubt it, but you might. And I know you guys are wondering how heavy is this? This is light. I will not be surprised if this is the exact same weight as another FPV frame. I mean, it's perfect. This is going to mount a 16 by 16, 16 by 19, or a 19 by 19 motor. You can do whichever one you like. It handles all of that. And another thing too, I'm gonna to show you what the battery looks like on top of here. I mean, look at that. It's perfect. Look at that. This guy is going to be phenomenal. All right, so I know everybody wants to know. They are curious. They want to know how much does it weigh. I know Drayman's saying it's light, and it does feel light. 
I mean, on top of the fact that it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Come on. This has got to be one of the best looking frames I've seen. When you think about the fact that they're going to go ahead and use the ingenuitivity, the creativity to come up with a titanium frame, who knew that they would make it look like this? Look at this. I'm loving this. I, I'm sorry. I'm loving this. When you mount your camera, you've got full protection up here, and it ain't carbon fiber. It's titanium. Now, I know that sounds familiar. Let me show you. All right. Here we are. Does that sound familiar? Look at that. That is the Armitan Chameleon. I know the Marmote is the same. A couple of the others have titanium cages that hold the camera. Well, guess what? This guy does too. They are both titanium cages. So I would say it's fair to match these guys up against each other. Top plate, bottom plate cage, ready to go. There is a couple components missing on here. This is an old frame, but we can use it to match up our weight. Let's get an idea. I know you guys want to know because I want to know as well. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it weighs 140 grams, all right? Now I'm going to throw this guy on. Now it's 190 grams, so we're about 50 grams more. And when you think about it, it's really not much. Let's see. So that's, uh, you know, that's a motor or so bigger. But honestly, with the arms being aerodynamic, the less drag you're going to have and the amount of strength and stability behind this thing, I really don't think it's going to matter that it weighs a little bit more. Me personally, maybe my GoPro is broken, maybe my memory card is full, doesn't matter, I'm still flying with a GoPro, I just like the way it feels, I like a heavy drone, and this is going to be perfect, it's not 250 grams, it's just 100, and I think it advertised at 186, but I just weighed it, I'm getting 190, you've got your antenna mounts back here, so you can line up your antennas, zip tie them, and they'll come right out the back. This thing is going to be sweet. See that? So you've got the screw on this side. You've got the nut on this side holding this little sidearm bar piece on. You won't need that. Once you mount your motor, you'll put a screw through the bottom, and that'll be what holds this on. And I'm going to tell you now, because I know it, those are 100% optional. So let's go ahead. Let's get an idea here. What do we got? Okay, so those are about four four grams a piece so that's between the two eight that's nearly 10 grams more that's on here that you don't have to have if you don't want it if you're that concerned with weight drop those now if you buy yours i know this is true if you buy yours and it is not pre-assembled like mine is i want you to keep in mind that before you lock down your arms you need to get it on a flat service. You need to make sure it's 100% level before you pull the trigger and you lock those down tight because it is metal and the way they sit being up on their side like that, you can have yourself a uh, off center arms and then you'd be in pretty big trouble. So keep that part in mind when you're going to build it. Now I want you to look right here. You can see how there's brackets holding this in. These things are super, super strong. All right, but there is one more thing I want to show you. Go ahead and look down in here. It's kind of hard to get my finger in there, and you may or may not be able to see it, but right there, there is a swivel, and what that means is you grab your driver, you go ahead and you loosen up this screw right here, you loosen up this bottom screw right here. You might want to loosen the top one too, but focus on the bottom one, and this entire cage can actually shift to get you from 30 to 45 degrees. So if your action camera is not where you want it, your GoPro, now if you got a 3D printed mount, you got it at the angle you want, you don't have to worry about it, but let's just say you don't. Let's just say you're throwing it on, your battery strapping it up, and it's not at the angle you want. You find yourself flying and it's looking down and you're flying and it's looking up, whatever the case may be, you can shift this cage and you can get it right in the angle you want it and that is awesome. And that's also going to go for your FPV camera because the entire cage will shift, but you do have the snotch right here that gets you the same degrees as every other frame. It's not some abnormal abomination. I mean, it's still an FPV drone frame. It's just much stronger with the coolest design. I've ever seen. I mean, even if this was in carbon fiber, I'd buy it. Look how cool this looks. 
I am stoked about this thing. I can't wait to build it. And we are going to build it together. And as I do that build video, we'll learn more about it. We'll see how it all works and see how it comes together. And then we'll see how does it fly. So I hope that you guys learned a lot about this FPV titanium frame. I hope that you guys are thinking like, hey, I may never have to buy another frame again. It just won't break. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Oh.